lot of things to keep track of when shopping for a monitor. Refresh rates, pixel response times, contrast ratios, the list goes on. But what you may not know is that most of these factors are dependent on the type of panel that the display uses. Knowing what each panel brings to the table can make the search for the best monitor way easier. That's why in this video, we'll be going over the limitations and advantages of IPS, TN, and VA panels and taking a look at how they stack up against each other when it comes to gaming. So let's start with the basics. IPS stands for end-plane switching, and this is the type of panel that many monitors and smartphones use. Basically, if a display has good viewing angles and produces vibrant colors, it more than likely uses IPS. This is because IPS allows for some of the best and most accurate color reproduction the best viewing angles, as well as great contrast ratios. On the flip side, IPS panels are limited with regards to their response times and refresh rates. The response time of an IPS panel can't go lower than 4 milliseconds, and as for refresh rates, they mostly stick to 60 Hz. However, while the response time can't go lower than 4 milliseconds with this type of panel, refresh rates beyond 60 Hz are possible. It's just that 144 Hz IPS monitors tend to be on the pricey side compared to the more affordable TN models. As for TN panels, short for Twisted Pneumatic, we're inclined to say that they're somewhat of a polar opposite to IPS, in that they excel at the things that IPS panels don't, and vice versa. That said, TN panels offer the highest refresh rates and lowest response times. If you find a monitor with a 1 millisecond response time, chances are that it uses a TN panel. Furthermore, not only are TN panels the fastest, but they're also the cheapest type of panel to manufacture. As such, those affordable 144Hz monitors almost definitely come with one of these, while 240Hz monitors definitely come with one of these. The trade-off, of course, is that the visual quality can leave something to be desired. The colors on TN displays tend to appear washed out and the viewing angles are rather poor. On top of that, they don't support HDR. So while they're great in terms of performance and affordability, individuals who prefer visuals certainly won't be blown away by them. Nonetheless, those who are into competitive multiplayer likely won't want to miss out on the advantage that TN monitors can provide. And finally, we have the Vertical Alignment Panels, or VA for short. This panel represents something of a middle ground between IPS and TN, and they're theoretically the best option for users who equally value both performance and visuals. Note the use of the word theoretically. VA panels offer color accuracy and viewing angles comparable to those of IPS panels, and even better contrast ratios. What's more, they can actually reach 1 millisecond response times, as well as 144Hz refresh rates. So what's the catch? Well, two things, actually. VA panels tend to have a lot of problems with ghosting and backlight bleeding, and the former is something you definitely don't want if you're playing fast-paced games. As for the latter, it's little more than an inconvenience, a potentially very annoying and immersion-breaking inconvenience. So when it comes to gaming, we'd give this panel a pass in most cases. They aren't bad. Far from it, actually, but as the saying goes, the jack of all trades is a master of none. Now, which one should you choose? The way we see it, before you decide on which type of gaming monitor to get, you need to decide where you stand on refresh rates and response times. The refresh rate determines how many times a display can refresh itself in a second, and this is measured in Hertz. This essentially puts a hard cap on the maximum FPS you can achieve in games. If your GPU can dish out 100 frames per second, but you have a 60Hz monitor, then you'll effectively only be able to play in 60FPS. Don't hate the game, hate the monitor. The most common refresh rate in gaming monitors today are 60Hz and 144Hz. And while 240Hz monitors exist as well, they are far less common since not only do they need an absolute beast of a graphics card to make them worthwhile outside esports games, not everyone can spot a tangible difference between 144Hz and 240Hz. It should also be noted that there are various motion interpolation techniques used in TVs that supposedly increase the refresh rate. For example, if you see a Sony TV advertised as having a 400Hz refresh rate with a motion flow tag next to it, don't be fooled. 
This isn't the TV's real refresh rate. And if you were to use Motion Flow or any other such technology while playing a game, you'd see some spectacular input lag. As for response times, these show you how long it takes for a pixel to change color from black to white or from one color to another, and it's expressed in milliseconds. Low response times can make the display feel much more responsive, just like high refresh rates. But there's an argument to be made that response times are even more important. Low refresh rates never hurt anyone, but high response times have made people sick. This happens when pixels can't change color quickly enough to keep up with what's going on in the game, resulting in noticeable motion blur and potential motion sickness. In all seriousness though, you'd be hard-pressed to find a gaming monitor with the response time high enough to cause motion sickness. So this isn't that big of an issue. It's mostly an issue for people who want to game on TVs, as TVs will oftentimes have higher response times than gaming monitors. Honestly, it's difficult to spot the difference between 1 millisecond and 4 milliseconds, and chances are you'll only notice the difference if you've used a 1 millisecond monitor before. So let's do a quick recap. IPS has the best visuals, TN has the best performance, and VA is a mix of the two. So when it comes to choosing the right panel for your own needs, just ask yourself what refresh rate am I aiming for and how much am I willing to spend. TN panels are the best choice if you're looking for the best performance, potentially at low prices. IPS panels will offer the best visuals, though you will have to invest a bit more if you want a refresh rate higher than 60Hz. And finally, VA panels make for a good middle ground, allowing you to have both good visuals and good performance without having to spend too much on a monitor. And that's that, a quick look into the most popular panels and how good they are for gaming. We hope that you find this video helpful, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Also, make sure to check out our other videos, we have a bunch of them where we talk about all the other properties of displays in much more detail. Or if you want to make sure you see the new ones as they come out, click on the bell icon and it'll notify you whenever a new video goes live. In the meantime, may your games be long and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.